What really, really excites me about having Quixote Nuevo performed in many parts of the country is that I'm exposing my culture in its crazy collage, kaleidoscopic fashion to an audience that isn't accustomed to seeing that. So it's a kind of education that's happening. But what's also really cool about it is that there's an audience of Latinos that has hitherto been invisible in many of these communities that are turning up. It's really heartening to see that because it just goes to show that that demographic is really national. And this play is for them, but it's also for everybody because the themes are about memory, it's about loss, it's about recrimination, it's about the conflict between illusion and reality, when illusion is actually the better medicine for someone who is dealing with Alzheimer's and dementia. The process is first, know your source. Really know your source. And then I read up on the authors, I do as much as I can, regional kind of research, and then I forget it. I toss it all aside and forget it, and then what I remember is what was going to stick, and that's when I start writing the play. And I'll write it in a series of scenes out of order, and then find a way to fashion them in the proper order once I start to find what the through line is. But I try to keep myself from seeing too far into the future, from seeing the end of the play, from seeing the end of the story, from even predicting what's going to happen in the next page, because I like to keep myself in that state of surprise and delight that audiences go through. They don't know what's going to happen next. Why should the writer be any different? Why should I be exempt from having that same experience? So the process of writing the play becomes a process of discovery for the writer too, for me. It's like uh, someone shooting an arrow in the air. They shoot it high in the sky and that arrow could land anywhere but you follow it and then you start to see in a general direction it's going to be but the arrow will only fall in one place because that's the trajectory of the arrow, the arc of the story. But the more I try to predict where that arrow's gonna land, the more the character's lives and actions are conforming to what my expectations will be. When it's far more exciting to let them decide where the story's gonna end. And that's a place of sheer delight for me. It's scary, it's a very scary proposition, but ultimately very rewarding.